Comics Plus, Akasun doing some rea uh, reflection reactions here of 2021. And it wouldn't be quite a year on the internet without some scandals. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the top 10 biggest celebrity scandals. Here we go. I've been ordered by the Sheriff's Department oh, in fuck. Santa Fe. I can't answer any questions about the investigation. I can't. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And Holy today shit. we're counting down our picks for the top 10. What a horrible way to start. Yeah, that was terrible. But oh god, this it's it's about to get worse, isn't it? Marilyn Manson. Oh boy. Let me know guys in the comments. We're streaming live on Twitch, but let me know guys in the comments if there's some new stuff that you uh didn't even you weren't even aware of. There we go. Celebrity scandals of 2021. And Kaylee, viewers should know the details are graphic. For this list, Looking at the biggest Britney, that's probably that's got to be pretty high up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I, we represent, guys. We got represented, y'all. MCU in the house, Disney. <laughs> Just so you don't fuck around with the house of mouse. Right. Stood out to you the most? Let us know in the comments. Oh, wow, I remember that. Number 10, Ilaria Baldwin's Heritage. What? There's plenty Who? of footage of Ilaria Baldwin speaking with a Spanish-inflected accent, but there are also times when she has an American one. Listen to her charming Spanish accent here. Married life is really nice. You know, it feels different. But the accent is gone in this video she just so. posted. There's been some questions about where I'm born. While Ilaria, born Hillary, never explicitly claimed to be Spanish, many people felt she presented herself as such. Her agency even listed her birthplace as Mallorca, when it was actually Boston. Baldwin says she spent much of her childhood visiting Spain. She denies the accusations. The inconsistencies led the press to investigate and to accusations of cultural appropriation. Baldwin's actual ties to Spain are seemingly limited to visiting and her parents moving there in 2011. You're gonna uh -huh. kiss me on the cheek and tell me you love me that I'm taking you back to Spain. Uh -huh. Ay, ay, ay. Baldwin responded by saying she what the fuck? Wow, this was news, but it's actually kind of funny. It, it reminds me of that one white girl, white woman that was walking around acting like she was black. And then uh, the last her last big claim to fame was <laughs> when Black Panther came out. People were posting images of her talking about how she wants to go to Wakanda. <laughs> All right, she back. had been raised in two cultures, American and Spanish, and Stop. apologized for not being clearer. But you know what? I, I I also I used to hang out with somebody that was really weird. Like like people like this dude would like speak with a British accent like for years, and this dude grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, or something like that. And I was just like, uh. Dude, like, what? What? What's up with this fake ass accent? Anyways, I think people ask sometimes about how I speak. I am that person that if I've been speaking a lot of Spanish, I, you know, tend to mix them. Number nine, Drake Bell child endangerment charges. Who? Those with fond memories of watching Drake and Josh's kids had to deal with some upsetting news when star Drake Bell was arrested. I see the problem. Oh, do ya! The charges, child endangerment, and, quote, disseminating matter harmful to juveniles. This included alleged inappropriate involvement with a 15-year-old in story like many before okay. it, is a chilling reminder that the likable figures actors play on screen don't always align with reality. I accept this plea because my conduct was wrong. Um, oh, was this big? I'm sorry that the victim was harmed. It never way. made. It never made. Uh, made intention. it to my desk. Again, I just want to apologize. All right, to whatever, dude. And, shut up. And, uh, Next. Oh, this Man. one. Number eight. Oh! Every year, at least one <laughs> this was pretty big. Tarnishes their reputation on this was media. big. She's some conservative. Yo, Disney about to be all up in this countdown. I can feel it, y'all. Let's go wrestling chick who kicks ass on a show I wouldn't watch if I was in prison. Actress and former MMA fighter Gina Carano has courted controversy several times, wading into issues like transgender pronouns mm. and mask mandates. Yep. However, 
things escalated in February 2021 when she likened hating someone for their political views to the treatment of Jewish people yeah. in Nazi Germany. Disney Given the context, like, including backlash done. to her previous posts, critics interpreted this someone as referencing Carano and conservatives generally. Although her Mandalorian character Cara Dune was popular among viewers, Not her really. on-screen Not for conduct me. was apparently too much for Lucasfilm who blasted her posts as, quote, abhorrent and unacceptable, yep. and fired her from the show. Well then. I'm okay with that, Blade. Until she, our paths cross. I was like, no thank you. Until our paths cross. Never her mind. agency dropped her as a client on the same day. <laughs> the Ben Shapiro picked internet. her up. Uh -huh. And, you know, you check your Twitter, and I'm trending. And uh, the fire Gina Corona hashtag worked. Number seven, Kim Ye divorce. It's official. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West love story is. I mean, I mean, was this really a scandal? Was this really a scandal at this point? Like this man was pissing on Grammys in a toilet sometimes. And we were like, yo, he, I don't know what's going on with that crazy, them crazy Kardashians. Black men are dropping like flies, having heart attacks. Lamar Odom, all that. I mean, it was only a matter of time. Anyways. Is coming to an end. We have to admit we were a little surprised Damn, so at the longevity fine. of Kim Kardashian and I'm Kanye saying. West's marriage, with the reality star and rap icon being married for just under seven years. Already just highly under. publicized, their relationship received even more attention when West launched his presidential campaign in 2020. <laughs> During an erratic campaign speech in July, Kanye revealing the couple's very personal decision about whether or not to keep their first child. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> and why he look like Jamie Foxx? Like, did he, did Kanye West know? Did he predict No Way Home? I, I'm just wondering. Daughter North saying it was Kim who decided to have the baby. During that time, okay. West also tweeted that he had been, oh, quote, right, trying right. to get divorced and accused her family of trying to, quote, lock him up. Following their divorce for mm. irreconcilable differences, Kardashian hosted Saturday Night Live, while West released his 10th solo album, Donda. In other words, they're both still in the spotlight, even if they're not together. Did you guys like Donda? Like, I, I, I couldn't understand it. Like, I, I understood that it was experimental, but I was, like, falling asleep through the... Like, there, were, there weren't, like, banger tracks, like, that I was used to with Kanye. It was a very experimental thing, yeah. Kanye, I mean, what Kardashian has ever kept a husband? I mean, you know, Kanye, uh, he, he might hold the record for the longest marriage for to a Kardashian. And I ain't never even seen the papers. We not even divorced. Wow. So how we, because that ain't no joke to me. Well, my my kids scary. want their parents to stay together. Yo, what is up with this dude? <laughs> like, look at this airline, dude. Yo, yo. <laughs> You know those memes where you, you where supercuts is like <laughs> those supercut memes where they're like you blind man, he's like, damn, that dude fucked your shit up. Afterwards, they're both still in the spotlight, Bro, even look. if they're not together. And I ain't never even seen the papers. We not even divorced. Oh, wow. yeah. So how we because that, that ain't no joke to me. My my Real kids shit. want their parents to stay together. Mm -hmm. I want their parents I want us to be together. But I if want you look, to be together too. But if you look at the media, that's not what they're promoting. Number six, allegations no. against Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson has long this presented so, a depraved and so morally dubious image, but it was mostly assumed to be an artistic persona. Correct. However, in 2021, allegations of abusive behavior by mm. Manson towards his former partners, including from actress and former fiance Evan Rachel Wood, mm. Mm. started mm. spreading. At the time, she did not name her alleged abuser, but this week, she did. The name of my abuser is Brian Warner, also known to the world as Marilyn Manson, she wrote on Instagram. He was soon dropped by his record label, agency, and management. Manson dismissed these claims as, quote, horrible distortions of reality. And his legal team has denied the charges put forth against him. Um, and projects that he was committed to with AMC and stars, uh, they've also um, decided not to move forward. You know what's interesting is that he actually showed up, he, he collaborated with uh, Kanye West a little bit after that for the Donna release party or something. Really weird. Hey, Gangster Doc, Christmas was good. With multiple allegations and multiple suits, 
This is a scandal that might continue for a number of years. Following Woods claims, at least four other women have come forward publicly Jesus. with their own experiences of abuse, allegedly by Manson. Number five, Scarlett Johansson Welcome. versus Disney. It's a battle royale. Yeah, that represent, represent y'all. The COVID-19 yeah. pandemic has resulted in many films receiving simultaneous release in theaters and on streaming yep. services. However, that hasn't made everyone happy. After Marvel movie Black Widow was jointly released in theaters and on Disney+, Plus, star Scarlett Johansson sued Disney claiming a breach of contract had taken place. The film broke pandemic era records and has brought in over $300 million worldwide, millions more from streaming on Disney+. Plus. Yep. But the Wall Street Journal reports the actress may have lost out on more than $50 million in revenue that could have been generated by the movie's success. It seems Johansson's salary was partially based on box office revenue, As it should which be. she said the streaming release would affect. Disney accused Johansson of showing a, quote, Welcome, disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Disney says Scarlett Johansson has already earned the equivalent of around $15 million for her role in the film and that it had fully complied with the actor's contract. Right. However, this conflict was settled in September, though the exact terms remain unknown. Number four, Bill Cosby released. <laughs> Yo, I forgot. Stop. I forgot that was this year, actually. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was also the time where it was the Bill Cosby little dip thing. He was like, doop, doop, like that. All right, let's keep going. We got some uh, chatter in the chat right now, so that's why you're not seeing anything. I had to turn Stunned. off things. But Thickened. we're still in going. In the 2010s, we saw Bill Cosby's image shift from beloved sitcom dad to convicted criminal, with him being sentenced to prison in 2018. However, Cosby made headlines again in 2021 when his conviction was overturned. It wasn't that Cosby uh, was acquitted, but that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court determined his due process rights had been violated by the conviction. In a split judgment, the court ruled uh, that Cosby's due process rights were violated when he was charged and convicted. Cosby had previously made an agreement with prosecutors that he could not be charged in the very case that landed him in prison. In 2005, the Montgomery County District uh, here Attorney comes a little had dip. declined to press charges against Bloop. Cosby in exchange for Cosby's testimony oh, in a maybe civil not. case. However, this testimony was later used in his criminal trial, which the court took issue with. The Pennsylvania court said, okay. our sense of fair play and decency. Therefore, Cosby was released. He had been sentenced to three to ten years in prison, so it's unclear how much longer he might have been incarcerated otherwise. Wow. Yes, there will be no paper conviction, but he will always have to live with the fact that 12 jurors looked him in the eye and said guilty, guilty, guilty. Number three, mm. Army Hammer's messages. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> oh remember on, this. It was for turns Yo. in critically acclaimed films like The Social Network and Call Me By Your Name. Yo. But in 2021, Hammer garnered attention for messages he allegedly sent various women, including ones displaying cannibalistic urges. <laughs> Former girlfriends and other women sharing screenshots of alleged private messages with the actor describing his fantasies about cannibalism. There were also claims of abuse by Hammer from numerous women. Shit. Hammer denied the legitimacy of these messages, as well as subsequent assault allegations. The actor remained silent on social media before issuing a statement denying the allegations to people on Wednesday this that reads, terrible. I'm not responding to these yep. bullshit claims. He was dropped by his talent agency and his That's publicist crazy. in light of the scandal and left upcoming acting projects. This stands as one of the most shocking celebrity scandals we've ever heard of. The scandalous it's allegations terrible. are now seriously threatening his career. Number two, Free Britney. What do we want? Free I remember this one. In November 2021, Britney Spears was released from her legal conservatorship. Yo, everybody got behind like legal battle between the pop star. I'm actually surprised about this one a lot because it was one of those things where it was like, yo, like I remember people were comparing this to like um, some other stuff um, that happened to a, a black actor or something like that. And people were like, yo, why, we need you to get behind Free This Person the same way you're getting behind Free Britney because people got really behind this one a lot. It was wild.
Spear and her conservators. This was also a major moment for Spears's fans, yeah. who had been championing her through the Free Britney movement. Spears's case gained further publicity this year with the release of the Framing Britney Spears documentary. Yep. Conservatorships are a unique legal arrangement, usually designed for elderly people who are unable to take care of themselves Correct. or their money. The court gives someone else special powers to make decisions for them. In court testimony, Spears testified about the mistreatment she faced under the conservatorship, including being medicated and having an IUD implanted in her without her consent. Included in the complaints was Spears's father, J. Wait, what the fuck? Hey Siri, what is an IUD? intrauterine device oh to prevent pregnancy yo see i don't know i don't use that kind of stuff but <laughs> anyway but that wow 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 sounds like japan Janie, I've said who too was much. removed as conservator in September. Later, the conservatorship ended for good, and after 13 years, Britney Spears was finally freed. That's just so, so happy. She deserves all of the freedom. Oh, we're, we're feeling great. So excited. As long as Britney's happy, we're happy. Britney is happy. Posting on Instagram, good God, I love my fans so much, it's crazy. The gays Before love we Britney. Our top pick, <laughs> here are some honorable mentions. Okay, so it... Shit. Wait a second. So it's either okay. The so the biggest celebrity scandal either has to be the Julian Smollett thing, or the he Meghan and Harry situation. I'm assuming it has to be the Meghan and Harry thing. That's got to be number one because the Julian thing is funny, but I it, I don't think enough people are really talking about that one. Yeah. Morgan Wallen utters a racial slur. The rising country star received significant backlash. The music world Ooh. responded swiftly. Within hours, Wallen was suspended from his label. His songs pulled from the radio and streaming playlists, and he was declared ineligible for the upcoming Academy of Country Music Awards. A Rod Affair. What did he MLB say? MLB star Alex Rodriguez was caught up in a scandal of rumored infidelity. Really? Lil Nas X's Satan Shoes. Wait, 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 wait. Was A-Rod married? So A-Rod used to be married to Jennifer Lopez at that time, I guess. And that's what happened. That's why we got uh, Benifer back together. Because uh, then ben, uh, ben Affleck divorced Jennifer Conley. Is that her name? Or the Electra chick. Oh, they were engaged. Okay. All right. No, the, the, the Jussie thing has been in the... Um, Unless that was a that happened last year, the actual event happened last year, and he just got convicted uh, recently. All right, let's keep going. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. That was a while back, though. I, I yeah, I believe. First stirred controversy right. for selling modified Nikes. The shoe retailer is <laughs> what a party after the star released six hundred and sixty six <laughs> pairs of these so called Satan shoes, which sold out in under a minute at a whopping over one thousand dollars a pair. And what? Nike says it's trademark infringement, saying his shoes are confusing people and believing that Nike is endorsing Satanism. <laughs> Sharon Osbourne leaves the talk. Osborne was let go huh? after shouting down Cheryl Underwood and allegations from co-workers of racist remarks. Whoa. How can I be racist about anybody? How can I be racist about anybody or anything in my life? How can I? Well, 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 well what? You, we will be right well, back. What? We have more topics, so don't go away. And I <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> well, what? Well, we'll be right back. If we got some more time. <laughs> that was good, dude. That was good. She was just like, well, what? <laughs> That's how you deal with that. Oh, that was good, dude. Anybody or any. Because you could tell how uncomfortable everybody was. You could tell from the beginning, looking at that uh, black woman. She was like frozen solid, like, look. Just remarks. How can I be racist about oh, yes. anybody? How can I be racist about <laughs> anybody? And then the other one's drinking, so they don't have to life. respond. How can I? Well, 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 well what? You, we'll be right well, back. What? We have more topics, so don't go away. And I think we okay. should stop this.
Chrissy Teigen's online behavior. The model was criticized for cruel tweets and oh. messages to Courtney Stodden and others. I really? Feel like there, there was honestly so much, having this period of time and time to digest it all and to look back and to realize that honestly there is always so much time to grow and to learn mm -hmm. and to become more empathetic and to just, I look at my what kids is she and famous I look for? at what I want their values to be mm -hmm. and how I want them to treat people. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified well, about what? our latest videos. You have the option. Uh, it's got to yeah, it's got to be Megan and Harry then. Or all of them. If you're on your it's phone, be make sure and you Harry. go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, yeah. Megan and Harry's Oprah interview. Following news about Britain's royal family is like watching a real-life soap opera. And 2021 provided one of the juiciest chapters yet. Yo, I can't wait till this shows up on The Crown, if it ever does. <laughs> it wasn't just catty gossip. It was bringing out a part of people that was racist in how it was charged. Mm -hmm. And that changed the threat, that changed the level of death threats, that changed everything. In 2020, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, announced their decision to step away from the royal family and make a partial move to North America. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many- Why is this film with like a potato? This is like a big announcement and like, this is like, <laughs> Who filmed this? Okay. Months of talks <clears throat> and so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Mm. In March 2021, CBS aired a special featuring an interview between <laughs> Harry and Meghan and Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Topics addressed in this in-depth interview included Oprah. mental health, racism, and their children. It takes so much courage to admit that you need help. Mm -hmm. It takes so much courage to voice that. Reactions to the interview varied, yep. with some expressing support for Harry and Meghan, and others staunchly defending the royal family. Is she pregnant again? Is that, like, because uh, this is after the first baby was born, right? No, maybe not. Never, maybe not. No, no, no. Oh, she is pregnant again. Okay. All right. How do you think they would handle this on The Crown? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent <laughs> clip it? from Watch Mojo. Okay. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about. Wow. Yeah. Like, so the, the, I love that Batman is up there. Um, I, the funniest thing is the fact that, um, like that hairy thing was so big. The, uh, I mean, obviously the main point, I'm surprised they didn't actually bring it up because the main takeaway from all of that was the fact that there were discussions, um, on, in the inner circle, from the inner circle of the royal family, about how black the baby was going to be, like that was the that was the big, that was the big one right there, and um, <laughs> it was so big that you know I don't care about any of this, but I I watched The Crown right, and so I remember when I made that one, um... <laughs> no somebody made the, um somebody put in Wanda and Vision because that came out this year. Wanda and Vision um, put them, photoshopped them in there talking to Oprah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then I was like, and then I actually improved it. I put it on Twitter and I was like, yes, well, there were, <laughs> it was like, well, there were talks in the, in the family about because of my vibranium, my Wakandan side, if <laughs> with the vibranium about, you know, just just how black the baby would be, how Wakanda the baby would be. Who said this, Wanda? Who said <laughs> it was Mag? <laughs> like, so dumb, dude. Oh my god, it was it, very interesting. But yeah, who knows? Like, I I'd say I'd say is that considered the biggest conversation? I guess it it I agree with the pick just because it is the royal family i'm not british but i could understand where that would be a big situation the same way where trump grabbing somebody by the <laughs> um it would be a big issue or um doing something in office like that right you know uh the biggest thing we've had in politics with an actual acting president outside of trump was obama in the tan suit right that tried to, the tan gate so to speak or uh, i'm sorry bill clinton never mind we all know about that 
Um, but uh, the you know, in terms of that entire list for me, obviously the biggest scandal was the Scarlett Johansson Disney thing. That was like, even though it doesn't seem like much at the time, uh, it, it doesn't seem like much now. At the time, that was a huge deal. It was just like, yo, you know, Scarlett Johansson's supposed to be making her victory lap, and it's like, all of a sudden, it sues the shit out of Disney, and like, ooh, <laughs> going out after the House of Mouse here. That was that was a big one. That was really big. Um, and then, the, I think the year before that, or the two years before that, in terms of our world, it definitely has to be the Spider-Man Spider-Man, the Marvel Sony marriage on the rocks and everything, and who knows what will happen in the near future. But interesting, interesting. Well, if there's anything else that uh, uh, stands out, please uh, let us know. And uh, if you have any other, if there's any other kind of good recaps, I think last year, I think I did a really good one on the biggest news things, and I'll keep an eye out for something like that. And uh, we'll talk to you on the next video, guys. We're out. And also make sure you join us on Twitch in a few days as the entire Comics Plus crew team is going to be getting together. And we're going to be talking about our top five movies of 2021 and our top move shows as well, because that's become the new format now. We'll talk to you on the next one, guys. Peace.